A scalar is a quantity that has magnitude but no direction. Where by magnitude we just mean the physical size of something. A common example of a scalar is distance, which we measure with a ruler. We could hold the ruler vertically or horizontally and measure three centimeters on both. Then distance only depends on this measurement, not the direction we're measuring in. So these distances would be the same. But if scalars are quantities without direction, what are quantities with direction called? A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. An example of a vector is displacement, which can be thought of as distance in a certain direction. So looking back at our rulers, if we want to measure displacement, we would have to give a direction as well as a magnitude. So for the vertical ruler, we would measure a displacement as three centimeters up instead of just three centimeters. Then for the other ruler, we could measure displacement as three centimeters to the right. This time, even though both measurements are three centimeters, the fact that they are in different directions means these are not the same displacement. This is the key difference between scalars and vectors. So it's important to remember which quantities are scalars and which are vectors. Let's go through the key scalars and vectors you'll need to know for your GCSE exams, though you'll be learning more about how we use these throughout the course. Let's start with the scalars, the measures without direction. We just saw that distance is a common type of scalar. Then the speed, how fast something is moving energy, which we can measure in various ways, and mass, how much stuff is in an object, and then temperature, how warm an object is. Then the vectors, which remember will have both magnitude and direction. We just saw that displacement is similar to distance, but with a direction. Similarly, velocity is how fast something moves in a particular direction so we can think of it as the vector version of speed. The rest of the vectors we'll be using don't have a scalar equivalent though. Acceleration is a measure of how velocity changes, so it needs a direction like velocity. Forces are actions that change the motion of an object, so it's very important we define directions for these. And lastly, momentum is the product of mass and velocity which will have the same direction as the velocity used. Make sure you have a good understanding of this table, as identifying which of these measures are scalars and which are vectors is a very common exam question. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.